And then I add to, this is a continuation of the last video I just made about uh, the dream I had and that our, our purpose and our meaning here is to be an expression of the will of the high side. Um, an expression of, of oneness, right? And that reminded me of another topic I wanted to speak about and that was sin and living in sin. You know, the Bible says we are born into sin. We are born in sin. Um, the Bible is full of metaphors and parables, but it is true. And we continue to live in that sin because it is a sin to live in the world. It is a, it is a sin to live in the world. It truly is. Even more so for those of us who are... Um, awakened and aware and conscious of that world around us and its falseness it's even more so a sin because we have a responsibility to break out of that paradigm however even unconsciously it is still a sin to live in the world because deep down we all have an innate knowing we have a light that we know this is wrong the world is it's just pure destruction of our true nature so that that's the overlying topic that has to be heard that it is a sin to live in the world why is it a sin to live in the world it doesn't really have to be further um, explained but we have been given like I said earlier our meaning our purpose to be an expression of the will and we were giving given um, an environment we were given life we were given so much we were given everything as a matter of fact we were given everything period and then I want to go forth to say we were given everything we need to sustain ourselves food water any of those things we were given it was created um, we need not create anything we were given all those things, food, water, air. We were given everything that we truly need. And in, in a beautiful, blissful form as well. Like a, ex, the most extreme beauty and bliss is creation. Creation is just the highest expression of just Like you see God, you see God. <laughs> when you look at creation, you see God. And we were given that, we were given everything. So why is it a sin to live in the world? When you're given everything, your parents give you everything. Say your father gives you everything you need, but you thinking you are smarter for some reason, some type of uh, delusion, you decide you need to create a world within the the bliss and the earth the truth that has been given to you you decide you need to create a world you need to create extra things that you want the things you were given having everything you need is not enough you need things that you want um, the food you were given is not enough you need to farm and you need to create genetically modified foods you need to genetically modified what is to be untouched in the first place you need to create a uh, synthetic food to nurture what is to be nurtured by the high side you want to nurture with uh, plastic and, and falseness illegitimate um, nutrients that are not really nurturing your body you want to create food you want to build structures let me not stop saying you, we, we, because I am too a part of this. I am too, ha I too have lived in the world and I know of the world. Um, we want to build structures on this earth. I, like I said, we've been given this environment with everything we need, but we want to pile up bricks and stones and, and tar roads. <laughs> like just talking about it it's like what are we doing why we've been given everything this beautiful environment and um shelter through the beauty of our environment but we want to create shelters um 
square shelters that just block the light that we're giving, block the sun, block the environment, destroy the environment to build these structures that we think we must live in. These cities and civilizations that we think we must live in, huge concrete cities all around the earth, all around the world, concrete cities um, where environments have been destroyed. And then to further sustain these cities and towns, these largely populated areas that we have created, we then destroy natural areas that have been um, more untouched through things like deforestation. We destroy nature to create our world. If that's not sin, I don't know what is. <laughs> if that's not disrespectful and ungrateful, I don't know what is. I do know what is, which is why I'm speaking right now. <sighs> Even speaking on the food, we, we create all these synthetic things. I don't even know what to call the food we eat anymore. Even those of us in the world who try to be plant-based, the food source of fruits and vegetables have even been compromised through farming, large-scale farming. You know, there's many chemicals used to mass-produce food. So yeah, humans are basically a virus because we need to sustain. The virus needs to sustain itself. The world needs to sustain its itself. And it's crazy because we've chosen this. We were given everything, but we chose. We don't want the food we were given. We've chosen to create our own foods. And now even biologically, we, we somehow think we need our own foods. We crave um, our own foods is not our true foods, I'm saying. Our own foods, when I say that, is the foods, synthetic things we have created. So biologically, we've even been wired to crave those synthetic foods that we created. Not that the highest I gave to us, that we created. I can sit here and even think I crave french fries and pasta. That is not food. <laughs> that, is not, that is not to nurture my body. And I... I this body this this expression is thinking it needs those things but it doesn't need those things it wants those things um so it's to the point that we've genetically modified and engineered nutrients to the point that our body doesn't even know what real nutrients are um, like i said you can even be plant-based you can be alkaline you can follow dr Sebi's guidelines but our entire food source is pretty much compromised, which is why, of course, it's important to be the patroller of your own food source. Um, but it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be so confusing. It's supposed to be simple because we were given everything we need. It's supposed to be very simple, but because we've chosen the world, we've chosen sin, because to live in the world is sin, we've chosen sin everything is more confusing than it needs to be so yes it's a sin to live in the world it's a sin to have a job we're not meant to do that we're not slaves to money money is a sin money is so illegitimate it's just completely illegitimate it's almost like idiocracy to think of money in this paper like currency that's not true currency money and currency different things money is a sin like i said having a job is a sin and i'm not saying working is a sin we all must work we must uh work to live like i said if you patrol your own food to us you will work even when you're gathering food that's 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 working but that's not work in the, in the worldly sense of having a job that's that's um righteous work gathering food that's righteous work so I'm not saying we, we mustn't work. There's work that needs to be done. But you mustn't have a job for money. You mustn't live in, in these concrete tar roads. You mustn't live in those environments where you don't see any, you don't see any earth. 
how you see around you is the world and that upholds the world in your mind when that's all you can see around you is the world. We don't need to live in those places. We don't need to construct anything. We don't need to construct environment. We were given environment. We don't need to then construct something. <laughs> Why would you construct the world when you were given the earth? That is sin. We have chosen sin. We have chosen to construct the world when we were given the earth. Your father gives you everything, but you decide to twist and turn your mind, your biology, everything about yourself upside down in order to construct something false. That is choosing sin. Eating certain foods that we know we mustn't eat which is a difficult topic. Like I just said, I can sit here and crave uh, pasta. That's not, that's not, um, that's not correct. That's not correct. Um, eating certain foods. Living in the world is a sin. I hope this is being understood. I hope this is being received the way it needs to be received. Living in the world is a sin because we have chosen, we have scoffed at what we were given we were given so much. We are given so much. We have so much. But we scoff at what we we're given. We are ungrateful children. Ungrateful children. <laughs> we scoff at what we were given. And we turn a blind eye. Which is why the woman in my dream had said, yes, it's possible to live outside of the will. It's possible to continue outside of the will of the highest eye because the world gives that option the world will be your quote-unquote god lowercase g the world will give you that illusion that you can live outside of the will but it is not true and that is why everything must return to zero at this point because too many people have fallen ill in the world and too many people are living within self sin and that is not our purpose at all we're not meant to be a virus we're meant to be an expression of bliss and the truth and oneness so yeah living in the world is a sin it might sound harsh or crazy but yes having a job is a sin <laughs> eating beyond meat is a sin uh living in a city living in a big apartment a building in a city is a sin using money working for money having a job for money going against your truth for money is a sin actions for money is a sin like i said to be very clear money and currency are very different money is not a true currency whatsoever money is, com is a complete uh, delusion that keeps the world running very smoothly. These things are sins and all these things build up the world. Farming, that's, that's sin. You've been given everything you need but you want to um, turn food, nutrient into a virus. You've been giving something so precious and instead of valuing that thing, you want to take it and mass produce it and turn it into a virus. You turn something, something, um, I'll use simple turns, turning something good into something very bad. <laughs> simply, to be put simply, something very good, something very righteous and, and um, true into something false and into a virus. How can you turn nutrients into, into a virus? yeah farming anything that perpetuates the world living in the world it's a sin and like I said it's even more dangerous for those of us who are aware of the truth to continue to live in the world because we know um, there's a quote, I, I'm not remembering it exactly, but it's better to have not known and live in the world than to have known the truth and turned a blind eye and continue to live in the world, knowing you are living in sin. 
Yes, I said we have all chosen sin. We live in sin. We, were, we chose it. You know, we chose to construct the world and we were given the earth. However, at this point, many people in the world are under a deep delusion that they don't even know. I'm talking right now and it sounds like gibberish to them. It might sound like gibberish to you. <laughs> like, what is she talking about? Money is a sin. A job is a sin. This girl must not know what she's talking about. I, I could be just speaking gibberish to some people right now. It is because many are under very deep delusion, very deep mind control in the world, which is different from others who are not under that mind control, but they still choose to live in the world because it is easier. Because like the woman in my dream said, yes, you can continue on um, not surrendering to the will, not living within the will. Because living within the world, will, and against the world is not, it is simple, but it is hard. <laughs> because the world has grown to an extent that when you go against it, you, you're almost a virus to the world. The world itself is a virus, but when you live in truth, you, you become a virus to the world. It's almost like putting a target on your back. So it's easier for people to stay asleep and not acknowledge what they truly know deep down inside and it can even drive some people um i've had conversations with people conversations and they've told me oh yeah i've seen all this and i've read all this and i know this but it's too much for me so i'm just gonna ignore it it's too much it goes too deep so i'm gonna ignore it and just keep going day by day in the world and that is worse than not knowing <laughs> That is worse than not knowing because once you know you have a responsibility you have a responsibility you're you're immediately it's a judgment we're all subject to judgment but immediately it's a judgment you you are even um it's a special thing to know you should be glad to know you should not ignore that so it's immediate judgment to see what choice is made whether you or whether we, whether I chose or chose chose to stay in the world knowing what I know or to enter the earth. Just because we're born into sin doesn't mean we need to continue living in sin and perpetuating the sin for our neighbors. We don't need to uphold that whatsoever. And it's even a part of the brainwashing and the mind control and the delusion that we don't have a choice it's a part of the mind control that the only choice is the world and that is not true the only choice first of all there doesn't need to be choice because all there is is truth it is not um subject to choice it's just simply truth so there doesn't need to be that choice but since the world exists and we do have that choice and we're born into that sin you must choose once you are of a certain knowing you must choose correctly you must choose correctly you have a responsibility to do so no matter how hard it is no matter what job or money or i don't know you, you have to leave everything you know your friends and family no matter what you have to leave in the world, you have to be strong enough to leave the entire world behind, leave the world behind in its entirety, um, and choose righteousness. Because living in the world is a sin, yes, and we are born into sin, but choosing to live in the world after having that knowing is a greater transgression. They're all transgressions, but it is a greater transgression to know you were given this this light and this knowing and you ignored it it's like you were given a chance some people will never know some people will always be blind to until where they they return to that knowing and you completely disregard it because you want to go to work and you want to go to the club you want to go to the club and you want to stay comfortable you want to stay comfortable so yeah, I just, I just wanted to speak on that, that living in the world is a sin, yeah.
all those things I said is a sin. It's a sin because we were gifted and we were given and we are everything we need. We need not to create anything. We need not to toil. We need not ask for anything. And, and when we decide we want to ask for things and it is not given, it is because we do not need it. We need not go and create it and create cars and all these machines and strange weird things that are not supposed to be not they're not even coming from our expression to be honest these these machines and things they're not coming from our expression um it's a lot going on in the world but i'll just say they're not coming from our true expression to be creating um strange things genetically modified food that's not coming from our true expression that's not our true creativity the type of science we have in the world right now that's not our true creativity whatsoever that's basically an abomination <laughs> and further studying of abominations but yes that was my message today that was inspired by the dream that i had that living in the world is a sin and if you have the choice please choose correctly there is a right and a wrong please choose correctly um and choosing correctly might mean being uncomfortable and choosing the hard option and going alone so to speak going against what you've always known which is not true knowledge what you thought you knew what the world gave you to know but yeah we must we must choose to be better and do better even though we were born into this sin we must choose better yeah. Thank you for watching uh, Guide Eye.